bodega guy down on the corner came out to pick up the morning papers, right. heard a thud, saw her lying in the street. Okay, anybody actually see what happened? They say they were out here, but nobody saw nothing. Hey, don't let those kids go anywhere. No ID. Tan line where a watch was reading. Expensive manicure, too. Look at her clothes. It's a Gucci belt, Armani jacket. She's overdressed for this neighborhood. She must have taken a wrong turn. Got that right. It was a truck that hit him, man. A truck hit him and he just kept on going. All right, a truck. Anything more specific? Maybe a license plate number? Yeah, I got a webcam in my eye. Juvenile's on the street after 1 a.m. I think I'm calling ACS. Oh, come on, man. We're just playing. We're not. The back of the truck was open, all right? It had newspapers stacked up in there. If that helps you out enough. It's better than nothing. You want to wait for us to match the dents on your front end, the bruises on a victim? That's fine with us. Just don't expect any breaks, you understand? Why would I need a break? I didn't do anything criminal. All right, look. If you hit somebody, and then you, you left her for dead, you see that? That's definitely criminal. Homicide or accident? Your choice. I think they found a blonde hair stuck in your grill. All right. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. You're saying it was hers? No, it was, it was the delinquents that were after her. I was coming down the street, and out of the corner of my eye, I see these kids around this girl. And one of them, he goes to grab her, and out of nowhere, she runs in front of my truck. I couldn't stop in time. Hey, I feel bad. Believe me. What do these kids look like? Harlem kids. The one that went after, he was he was wearing an orange jacket, right? Turn around. Come on, Sibio, turn around. We're hooking you up. You and your van. You're arresting me? Hey, we feel bad. Believe me. This is whack, man. I already told you we didn't do nothing to him, man. No, but somebody you. saw you talking oh, to her. Sit down. It's no big deal if you exchange words with the Carlos. We just need to know if she gave you any information that will help us identify her. I already told you she didn't give us no information, man. When you were talking with her? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, hold on. I already told you, we didn't do nothing to her, all right? We just come outside when we heard Tiny making a racket. That's it. Tiny? Yes, man, Tiny, that dumbass German shepherd dog down the block. You know what I'm saying? We come outside, we hear him barking at some white lady coming down the street, you know, and she looks all scared or whatever. Just scared of the dog? I don't know, just scared, all right? And I see her clothes all messed up, and she don't got no shoes on. I'm like, yo, miss, you need some help? All right, and that's when, that's when she runs into the street, and that's when the truck took her out. And you didn't put your hands on her at all? You or your friends? No, man, uh-uh. Mm. Why, why, why am I gonna chase some lady into traffic and then sit around and wait for the police to come, man? Because you think the police is stupid. Come on. This must be tiny. All right. You see this good looking girl last night? No? What about this ugly old mug? Okay, see, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Hey, Loops. Check out the window on the top floor. Green glass. It's the last Sunday's paper. When was the last time you had somebody in the building? About two months ago. We showed the place to the Harlem Redevelopment people. Loops. It's her, Blair Carlson. She has a Soho address. Her jewelry's still here, watch, earrings. This lock looks new. Wasn't here the last time I was here. from the inside. She could have jumped out on the roof of the porch. Food, water, and mattress. My guess is she wasn't here for a spot treatment. When was the last time you saw her? Yesterday morning around 10, she was on her way out. Alone? Yes. How did she afford this place? She come for money? No, money came to her. She was a professional, is that what you're saying? Her boyfriend's Pete Gartner. CEO of Mark and Fraser Investment Bank. The Mark and Fraser Investment Bank that went into the toilet last month. That's the one. She downloaded some commercial real estate listings. 
Yeah, that was her new thing. She said there were some real bargains out there. And checked them with comp sales in Harlem. And got an IM. Hey, babe, if you wanted to scare me, it worked. Call me now. Pete. I got this text message from Blair's cell phone yesterday, late afternoon. We have your girlfriend. If you want her back, the price is 200000 I thought it was one of her jokes, and I couldn't reach her. So what did you do then? I texted them back, telling them that I was willing to play ball, but I couldn't get the money until the morning. You scroll down, you can see their reply. Mm-hmm. Okay for morning drop, instructions to follow. And I never heard from them again. Why didn't you call the police? Oh, well, that'd go over well with my wife. Yeah, sure. Ms. Carlson was being held in a vacant building in Harlem that was for sale. Do you know any of the people she was dealing with? Anybody up in Harlem? No, I don't know anybody up in Harlem. Well, except for Bill Clinton, of course. Did anybody else know about your relationship with Ms. Carlson? I actually tried to be discreet. What about threats from investors or former employees? Our security company logs them all. My wife will be home any minute. Oh, right. I'm sure, yeah. Uh, one last thing. We haven't been able to reach your girlfriend's family, and we need an ID, so... She should have stayed put. I'd have paid the damn money. You bet I sent Pete Gardner a threatening letter. Me and about 10,000 other people. Yeah, we read some of those, but... Yours. I will inflict on you the same pain you inflicted on others. Most of my compensation from Mark and Frazier was in stock options. I should have $7 million. Instead, I'm moving to Parsippany. Uh -huh. Where were you on Monday? My father's apartment in Queens. He passed away. He, uh, he took his own life. He was retired. He put everything he had into Mark and Frazier's stock. And I told him that Pete Gardner was a genius. That bastard ruined thousands of lives, and he gets to keep the $48 million bonus he got last year. The great humanitarian gives away millions to charities so he can get in with the Park Avenue crowd. Well, my father, who actually worked for a living... It's a tough break. <laughs> Oops. Look who's shaking hands with a great humanitarian. Is it? Yeah, our boy Carlos. Small world. 